Hello from Slovenia. So, uh, this is our <laughs> sunflower that I didn't like and still don't. It's dry. Uh, it is, I don't know, maybe it will grow to me, but from now I still don't like it. And uh, when I varnished my my uh, previous uh, flower dips, <laughs> I thought that I probably forgot to show you dry piece of this one. It's uh, dried perfectly and it has no whoops cracks. Just a second, maybe I should do no this so you can see it more. You see. Uh, I think it's uh, beautiful, I don't know, I like it. I have this in mind so for some time now and I decided that I will do this instead of my butterfly. Maybe I will do it someday but not today because I'm not in the mood. Uh, I just think how to apply my base coat and I think that I will do like this. I will start with white. It's rainy here in Slovenia. It rains about three, four days now. And it's cold too. It's not as beautiful weather like it was in the beginning of April, but that's how April is, isn't it? In Slovenia we call it rainy because it rains a lot and it has to rain because the nature blooming and it's okay to rain that plants can, can, can grow and bloom and so on. So this is the process, nature process and I like it. So I will just try to tilt this a little bit over my edges. Uh, I will do reverse flower dip so I, I have a, a thicker base coat uh, for my uh, flower dips than if I do ring pores or other techniques. Uh, I had, uh, I get some comments about my painting around my back in my life. Uh, this was a, a traveling ring pour and I will do some of this these days too. Whoops! I talk about the time I will not talk about what I'm planning to do and I just did. But ring pours are technique that a lot of people do. So I just do it maybe a little different than some others and I will show you that. But today it's not the day for the ring pour. It's day for my reverse flower deep. I just I will do 
there's that cell of white here. Paper towel. And now our drizzle black in the just no particular order just here in the middle of my canvas. So I'm, I will use black, white, three shades of red and gold. And we will see what we can get out of this. If we can get something at all. I have some picture in my mind, of course, as always, but I don't know. And I have my cardinal red, my cadmium red hue, and my crimson. And I will start with crimson and I will go for a tulip like shape. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe I have and my cardinal red. Uh, like magenta this uh, cardinal red but when it dries it's a little bit different than magenta and cadmium yellow top I will drizzle some of just dots around. And some of them I will add a little more crimson. You know the red too. And my gold. This is my metallic craft metallic gold. Of course all paints are mixed with my primer, you know already that so we'll try to paper towel, I will spray it with my water and I will try to 
place it. Sometimes it doesn't go as you planned, so and now I'm still deciding how to lift this paper towel I will definitely start here I think because I want this uh, side to my where is the the end of this Just have some long blank space here. I will add white just to fill this up. I was going for uh, this uh, kind of uh, composition, but not completely like I was, like I have in my head, but. You know if you pour how these things are, you have some kind of um, picture how you want to do it, but sometimes just or mostly when you finish your piece it's not like you imagine before. that I need a little more white and I will just fix some places that I think that need some I will torch first. Where is my torch? 
Maybe I should uh, do black background, not white, but this is the first, this is first attempt on, on this uh, kind of flower dip, so I really doesn't know what to expect out of this, so Oh, this is, um, I forget to tell, tell you, this is a 40 by 30 centimeter canvas. Maybe I have a little less paint here, I don't know, because it's kind of want to do this because somehow this part bothers me a little bit. I will just try to do it like this. Uh, so It is kind of interesting, not exactly what I want, but close enough for be happy with the result. I will definitely try again, maybe with the um, um, black background. But I don't know, kind of like it. It will change a little while drying, but maybe I should have done a bigger blossom, but somehow I like it. I like this uh, selling around. Maybe my gold it's a little too thin, but I like it anyway. Just to pop some air bubbles here because I see it a lot. one. I don't know, maybe I should blow this um, out, but for now I will leave it like this and I will see. This is absolutely our first attempt and it's, if I will do it again, I will definitely do it a little different, but Kind of happy for the first result. Uh, I'll just try to darken this a little bit. And maybe give it some roots here in the middle to 
Add some more interest, or I even think like this. It's an abstract painting, so. These roots are kind of cute and I love these details, you see? How this um, red is selling. Just love this. And gold and the black. Just want to show you this blossom, I like it. So I think that I will definitely try this again with some improvements, I think. So if you like it, please give me your thumbs up and Subscribe and tell me what you think about it and see you on the next one. Bye!